Hello, I am Dr. Satish Babu, Senior Consultant, ENT, Head and Neck Surgeon, working with the Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, Little Syria is again one of the most uh, misunderstood uh, places uh, where the Little Syria uh, in per actual uh, terms is the lowermost region of the nasal septum that is a partition which is of cartilaginous nature not just the, the front part it, it's about one and a half two centimeters deeper uh, inside that is more concerned with having a nasal bleed not mostly with infections Whereas the, the area in front which is lined by the skin, which is the vestibule of the nose, that is more concerned with um, infections that can happen elsewhere in the body. That acts like a reservoir of some um, specific bacterial uh, colonies and uh, by picking the nose or uh, using the tissues or towels in the nose and then you know the, allowing the same uh, material to come in contact with the rest of the body skin uh, can transfer the infection. Uh, to that those areas and in uh, certain susceptible uh, you know situations you can get infected mostly it is a staphylococcus which causes small boils uh, or uh, you know furuncles what we call uh, those are harbored in the uh, nasal cavities uh, vestibules so first of all we have to keep that area clean yes but um, you know probably moisture free as much as possible and not to pick or dig the nose very frequently, not to keep blowing that area. Basically, if the skin is healthy, then uh, the colonization is actually limited. If the skin is uh, re repeatedly traumatized or injured, then the colonization becomes more common, right? So avoid nose picking, right? And um, you know, spreading the infection from one place to the other. The same goes for the ear also. So if you don't stop, uh, you know, using earbuds and all that then you won't have a chance to spread the infections from the nasal vestibule to the uh, rest of the you know, body. 